Hi, I'm Dawn Masler, and this is The Science of Love. It's The Science of Love. Today, we're going to talk about St. Valentine's Day. When you think of Valentine's Day, what pops into your head? Do you think of red hearts or red roses? Maybe even boxes of chocolates or romantic music? A lot of the symbols based on Valentine's Day have their biological roots in sexual attraction. Let's take a look. St. Valentine's Day has become synonymous with the color red. We eat chocolate-covered strawberries. We give red roses. We send cards adorned with little red hearts. But why the color red? Science has found that the color red enhances our attraction to another person. At the University of Rochester, psychologist Daniela Nesta conducted a study that measured men's attraction to the same woman by varying the colors. She showed the woman to different men but varied the background colors or showed the women wearing a red or blue shirt. Next, she told the men, imagine that you are going on a date with this person and you have $100 in your wallet. How much money would you be willing to spend on your date? In all conditions, the woman wearing red or having a red background was viewed as more attractive. But not only that, the men were more likely to treat the red woman to an expensive outing. Next, the researchers tested the effect of red on women. They asked a group of women to rate the pictures of men whose shirt color was digitally altered. The women also rated the pictures of men wearing red more attractive and sexually desirable. The men wearing red were perceived as having a higher social status, more likely to make money, and more likely to climb the social ladder. Women also reported a higher willingness to kiss, date, and engage in sexual activity with the red men. Nothing says St. Valentine's Day more than those tender morsels of melt-in-your-mouth dark chocolate. Dr. Bancole Johnson at the University of Texas states chocolate's ingredients have a significant impact on brain chemistry. He has found that chocolate contains caffeine in two substances, tyramine and tryptophan, that the brain converts into that feel-good chemicals of dopamine and serotonin. Dr. Johnson explains that chocolate stimulates the brain's pleasure centers. The other neurotransmitter that chocolate increases is dopamine. Dopamine is part of the pleasure center of your brain. So every time you have a piece of chocolate, you're telling your brain what's pleasurable. But not only that, you're also telling the, your brain that the person that gave you that piece of chocolate is pleasurable. Next, let's take a look at romantic music. Researchers out of Paris discovered that romantic music can have a direct effect on a woman's attraction to a man. In the study, they had women sit in a room and listen to music. One room was neutral music, and the other room was romantic music. Next, they brought them into the room to take a poll. After the poll, the man who conducted the, the poll was given a set line, and part of that was to ask them for their phone number. He got the phone number of 28% of the women from the neutral room, but the women that ran, listened to romantic music 52% gave him his phone number. In a study out of North Carolina, Chapel Hill, researchers learned that listening to music can have an effect on a person's judgment of a potential romantic partner. In other words, when you listen to soft romantic music, you begin to have warm, fuzzy feelings towards the other person. They also found listening to sexually suggestive music could literally suggest sex. But not only that, the singer's voice has an effect on women. Women 
prefer a man with a deeper voice. Another thing associated with Valentine's Day is going out to dinner. In fact, the website restaurants.org report that Valentine's Day is only second to Mother's Day as the date most popular for dining out. Researchers at Max Planck Institute of Evolutionary Anthropology discovered that chimpanzees were more likely to mate with males who gave her food. But it's not simply just buying dinner. As Thomas Alley of Clemson University found, men that put food into a woman's mouth is perceived as more attractive. But not just taking it off his plate and putting it in her mouth. If he takes a bite first and then puts it in her mouth, that's perceived as having the intimacy equivalent to kissing. I hope this segment of the Science of Love helps you on your Valentine's Day this year. And if you enjoyed it, please leave a comment or subscribe. It's the Science of Love. It's the blindness of love. The biology of love. It's driving me insane. It's driving me insane.